concept of the show is really simple. People in the audience are asked to think about things, maybe personal memories, friends, childhood memories, uh, really anything. And my goal throughout the show is to work out what they're thinking. Occasionally people are spooked out, and, and I quite like that. I think it's quite fun, especially in the context of the show. You do not know me, I do not know you. Recent trip to South America. Oh, what? <laughs> He's so good at doing this, and, and it's just amazing. Maybe go toward the middle of the name for me. Think about a letter. Any letter you want? Ah, that's interesting. You went to one and then went to another letter, yes? Yeah, you did. Are you okay? We have a little bit weird it out. Do you want some confetti? scary. <laughs> okay. I think I understand this. It's a repeated letter, isn't it? Yeah. In a clear voice. Can you tell me which letter you were thinking of, nice and loud? N. N? Thank you. Don't look at this just yet. Hold it against your top. If you could rub the ink in, that would be great. <laughs> See, what's interesting about this is, you were thinking of somebody else as well. It wasn't just this friend. Somebody else came to mind. And that makes sense, because I ask people to think about things from their childhood. Other things pop into their mind. You can't help it. You were thinking about an older woman, yes? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god! Uh, you were also thinking about a teacher, yes? yes? And at the time, when you were a child, she seemed gigantic. Yeah. She was extremely tall, yes? Oh Good. Uh, the name that was confusing me for a second was Mrs. Beatrix. What's it say into the microphone for me? What was the name? Mrs. Beatty. Beatty, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. However, that isn't the person you're thinking of right now. So take a look at what I wrote, and then nice and high show it to them. Sometimes people ask whether the show is spooky or supernatural, and while it certainly might raise some interesting questions, the end goal is just for a fun, entertaining, and engaging performance. Well, my name is Luke Jamey, and I'm a mind reader. That means I know what you're thinking. So, right off the bat, yes I am, and no, I don't. You might have noticed that I do grow up here in Milwaukee. Uh, I'm originally from Texas. It's not true, I grew up just outside of Texas in a place called London, England. I live in Las Vegas now, it was a seamless transition, as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, so this one uh, right here is a love line. Interestingly, there's an almost immediate encounter with a slightly overweight English mind reader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this could be uh, something that appears in nature, it could be something that's man-made. There's interesting there, there's confusion going on, so I'm going to guess that it's both it's man-made and, and natural. In fact, generally, oh, I get it, so it's surrounded by nature, but what you're actually focusing on is the man-made aspect of it, which is then actually something that's natural again, yes? Good. <laughs> In a clear voice into the microphone, will you tell us what you drew? A scuba diver. <laughs> so in theory, if I could get to know you, I could probably work out what kinds of things you would draw. That's what we're going to do over the next seven and a half hours. <laughs> there is a slightly quicker way. Aww. Say this is something from your personality, isn't it? This isn't a random drawing. This is something that you actually believe in. Uh, this is also something that you were heavily involved in when you were younger. 
uh, volunteering specifically. Yes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, into the microphone. Would you tell us what you drew? I drew the peace sign. I think we'll take that as being pretty close.